Hey guys, I'm Sun Gupta and I'm 12 years old. I'm the founder of 10xcode.case.com and if you like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do it so that you don't miss any of my videos. So without any delay, let's get started. And today we are gonna learn how you you are gonna learn how you can create your own cryptocurrency and exchange it with friends and family. So without any delay, and you are gonna do this all using Solidity. So without any delay, let's get started. Damn. Okay, so let's get started over here. So over here, you can directly see we have a license identifier right that is gpl 3.0 and then we have a pragma that is specifying that we are using the version 0.8.4 solidity solidity version 0.8.4 next we are creating a contract coin and this will have all our code so the thing to note is that the keyword public makes variables accessible from other contracts the keyword public automatically generates a function that allows you to access the current value of the state variable from outside of the contract. Without this keyword, other contracts have no way to access the variable. So over here you can see we have created a variable mentor, right? And that is public. So basically over here a method will be a function will be generated, right? Uh, right so a function will be generated for mint right and it has the uh, uh, value of data type address so we can see the uh, value of data type address in mint right and now in mint so in mint uh, what we have uh, for example in mint we can save a value like this like 0x 5b3 and something 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 till eddc4 right <coughs> okay so and we'll just leave it to compile also so it compiled so fast okay now the function generated for mentor will be function mentor right external view returns an address and return mentor quite a basic function next we are creating a mapping data type right the mapping will be address to an unsigned integer right and this will be also this will also be public right and its name will be balances so mappings can be seen as hash tables which are virtually initialized such that every possible key exists from the start and is mapped to a value whose byte representation is all zeros so uh, you can see uh, basically mapping uh, you can see as a hash table like uh, in which right now over here all the ad uh, you can see it like all the addresses are initialized so all the possible addresses in the world are initialized having a default integer value right that will be zero right however it is neither possible to obtain a list of all keys of a mapping nor a list of all values okay so over here what we have in balances balances is basic basically a key value uh, key value pair like structure right in which uh, a particular address will have a particular a particular integer value and that integer value will uh, uh, indicate how many crypto uh, coin uh, the coin that we created how many coins does that specific address or account has right <coughs> so the function generated for balance right so the function generated for balance will be function balances right and it will access a parameter that will be of address type and that will be account right external view so we'll just uh, ignore external view right now and this returns a in u a unsigned integer value and this will return balances so from balances it, it will access the value of our account right so it will access how how much how much how many coins how many coins that we created does a specific account have right uh, does the specific account that we get right so how much coins how many coins 
does the account that is passed to this balances method has right <coughs> so quite cool next events allow allow we are gonna create an event right that will be sent right we we are just creating it right now this will be triggered afterwards so what does what do events help us do events allow clients to react to specific contract changes you declare so over here, as you can see we are creating an event set right so this is a send event right it will get address from address to and you went amount right so event will be clear afterwards over here as you can see we are emitting the event right so when we are emitting the event we'll get a certain log right so we'll get a certain log right and we will be able to see it over here right so <coughs> it will emit this event and in the log we'll get all this information that who sent to whom right so who sent some coins to whom and how much right so we'll come back to events afterwards next we have a constructor method so constructor code is only run when the contract is created right so when the first time when we deploy this when the contract will be created then this constructor code will run and it will do minter equals to message dot sender message is, message is a global object right message is a global object that helps you obtain information about what you are doing right so who is the sender who is getting something and all of that stuff right so message your sender right mentor will be message your sender so the first time this contract will be deployed right so when the contract will be deployed the id id so that uh what we say address address that deployed this contract right so the address that deployed that contract will be set as the mentor right <coughs> okay so next we are creating a function mint right and this sends an amount of newly created coins to an address and this can be only called by the contract creator right that is the minter so this is the function mint in this we will get the receiver and how much amount this will be a public method that means other contracts can also access this method this requires the message or sender so the person who will be calling this function should be the mentor only right so the person who will be calling this function should be the mentor only if it is the mentor then it will continue in the function else it will just revert everything right so if, if if the mentor is only trying to send some amount to anybody then it will do balances receiver so to that receivers uh, right in balances it will set the receipt it will increment the receivers amount right by how much we want uh, by how much we want to send by how by the number of coins we want to send so for example i want uh, to send thousand to some receiver so that receivers balance will be incre incremented by a thousand coins right quite cool next we are declaring an error insufficient balance we'll use this afterwards right we'll use this error afterwards we are just declaring it errors allow you to provide information about why an operation failed they are returned to the caller of the function so we are declaring an error insufficient balance right and then we have we'll get uh, two things in the log will be shown one will be how much was requested and how much was available Next, we are creating a function send, and this function will be accessible to everybody, right? Like, I, if I'm not the mentor and I'm some person who has some coins, this uh, I will be able to send my coins to other people also, to other IDs also. So, send an amount of existing coins from any caller to an address, right? So, over here we have a function send, we give it receiver. We'll give it how much amount and then we'll say it's public. We're checking if amount is greater than the balances message.sender. So 
if the amount we want to send is greater than the balance that we have the amount we have we currently own so the coins we want to send is greater than the number of coins we currently have then we'll revert everything and tell that it is an insufficient balance right and an insufficient balance error occurred right and we'll tell that this much was requested this much uh, amount was requested so the requested amount was the amount that we got to send and then the available was balances message to send that is our id right so it will access the amount of our id and show how much was available but if amount wasn't greater than balances message or send that is our balance then what we'll do we'll do balances message dot sender minus equals to amount so from our balance it will in decrement some the amount we wanted to send to in the receivers uh receivers balance it will increment that much amount and then it will emit send and then we'll say message dot sender so from uh, from whom to whom and then how much right and this was or the only thing you needed to do right this was the only thing you needed to do over here if we now <coughs> and over here just to tell you over here we can watch for this event sent right so whenever we can watch for this event sent when when we will have a front end right so when we will have a client a front end then we can watch for this event sent to be emitted and we can watch it that whenever it will be emitted then then what we can do so for example we can we can watch it like this somehow like coin dot sent dot watch right so okay sorry yep so watch right so using this we can watch for it and then we can give it a callback that will that will trigger uh, whenever uh, the callback will be triggered whenever um this sent event was emitted right and now it is compiled over here properly and now we are ready to deploy this so over here we will do javascript virtual machine london right this is our account so this account from which we will be deploying will be a minter now right so this account from which we will be deploying will be a minter right <coughs> so from the account uh, from which we will be deploying that will be a minter right so compile okay so now the gas limit is this something this is in ways okay and we'll look at this afterwards right it is not important right now our contract is the coin contract over here and we can deploy this so now it is telling us that the contract was deployed so i'll just zoom it in okay okay so as you can see over here the status is true transaction mine and execution succeed transaction hash is something over here next from this from us this is our id over here 5b3 something right from this to coin right right so uh, from this two coin constructor right so over here <coughs> uh, what happened over here um sorry yeah so what happened over here um uh, a transaction happened over here a transaction was recorded how 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 transaction was taken place because now when we uh, in the starting when we deploy the constructor is run 
and in the constructor it accesses right it sets mentor to message dot sender so we are basically changing something so that is considered as a transaction right so this is the gas how much gas was used and transaction cost and everything execution cost and everything logs way and everything val sorry is zero way so let's leave this and let's come over here now we have some uh, things over here through which we can do that some testings first of all we have this minter button through which we can check who is the minter so if i check who is the minter it will show us this id the address of the minter so 0x 5b3 so that is our id so we are because we are the minter right so it is showing us our id because we are the minter and we got it over here also from this to this right so uh, coin dot minter so <coughs> so uh, when we press minter basically we got the value of minter right so we can see the value of minter next what we have we can check how much balance a uh, address has so first what we are doing uh, we'll do as we are the minter what we'll do we'll give somebody a certain amount so we'll go to this account we'll copy the id we'll come back to our minter account and we'll give this account that we copied thousand coins right thousand of the cryptocurrency that we created now we'll transact and a transaction was successful right status is transaction mined and execution succeeded transaction hash we are getting something from this to some the ad uh, uh okay so uh to um uh, it is saying to address uh coin dot mint address and you end uh, so we'll go to mint over here so uh it is saying that we sent the receiver right some amount right so we are, it is saying us that we send the receiver some amount over here right and then it is saying gas bass and everything right and decoded input was address receiver so the receiver is over here and the amount right so a receiver is was this and the amount was thousand coins right now if i go back i will go back to this receiver over here who received and if i check the balances of this receiver now you can see we are getting a thousand balances as the minter sent us a thousand coins now what we'll do we'll send the minter himself or some we can send to some other id also but we'll send the minter some amount from our amount and i'll show you the error also so we'll copy the minter id go back over here send to this person over here to this address and send 500 coins and if we transact it has sent successfully and now if we go back over here and check the balance of ours then you will be able to see that our balance is 500 and if we <coughs> check the balance okay so sorry about that if i go back over here copy this go back here and if i check the balance of the person who just sent the money his balance is also 500 and if we just send this person back 100 transact then you'll see that our balances you check our balance and it should be 400 coins right now it is 400 
and if you check the portion the receivers uh, balance then it will be 600 very 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 cool stuff now it hasn't ended over here let's create an error so as you can see we have 400 so this will be our receiver the second account and if you try to send 500 though we only have 400 coins we will try to send 500 if you transact now you see we are getting an error transaction mined but execution failed why from this from us to uh, to the person who wanted to receive <coughs> it is telling us that the transaction has been reverted to the initial state error provided by the contract insufficient balance and then it is telling that requested was 500 but available was 400 very very cool stuff over here right and guys this was it for this video guys i hope you guys like this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos bye